Today I would like to talk about uh, international communication. Now I will, well, will study this video YouTube in English. And do you know that how many people on the world speak in English? Well, I have searched. According to United Nations, the number of the English speakers are 1.5 billion right now and uh, native English speakers are only 25% so that's mean that the mostly that we use English as a second language or sometimes people can speak more uh, European friends can speak four or five languages unfortunately I only speak these two Japanese and English and well, from my experience, I would like to talk that funny thing. Well, when I talk with people who is from, for example, the United Kingdom or Australia, New Zealand, US, that's me, the native English speakers. And uh, probably they have the knowledge that most of Japanese people don't speak English. So when I start a conversation, people say, oh, your English is quite good. And I always say, thank you. And uh, from my side, it's quite interesting, but uh, I can recognize even if the person is the native Eng English speaker, but uh, if they have the experience of the international communication or not because well you see my english rebel right now but sometimes the native speakers keep talking talking chatting and especially if it was the people's gathering if they started to keep talking so fast and uh, using lot of slangs. Well, actually, I don't understand. And uh, also, uh, sometimes, even well, I speak English right now. But uh, well, sometimes I really don't understand what the person is talking. If they have the uh, accent. Although I also had the Japanese accent and I could say this is Janglish. And uh, well, but internationally, well, if it was especially the business, we need to communicate. And uh, it should be, well, 100% sure to, to understand each other. So I would say the point that probably that the, this video watching, well, the only now that so far <laughs> the only my two the friends are subscribed my this channel. The other one is native English speaker Mark, and the other MTS from Bangladesh. So for him, it's a second language already. And uh, from my side, the point of the international communication is we need to talk clearly to understand each other. So that means, especially for the native English speakers, please be careful about your talking speed and, well, don't use slangs. Actually, the one time my colleague said, let's shoot. And I totally didn't understand what the meaning. And I asked you again, hey, sorry, I, I don't understand what the meaning. What you want to do? What is let's shoot? And uh, probably it's a simple words, but I really didn't know about it. And it, the meaning was, let's start the meeting. Well, <laughs> just say so, please. And uh, also, the 
for the expression to express what you want to say please say simply if it was a song the academic scene we use really complicated difficult words but the, to have the conversation if keep using sort of the difficult words it's quite difficult to catch up the meaning and uh, sorry to say about this accent although i have japanese accent but uh, it's quite a funny thing when i was in hong kong well i was living in a nice city 60% of the people living there were foreigners and uh, always well the say hello to the neighbors <laughs> there is a funny story between the neighbor he was from uk i don't remember which part but uh, probably north side of the uk and uh, he always talking to me but i always didn't understand and was there uh -huh, okay and uh, <laughs> well Actually, I didn't ask him the, the, to say again or to talk clearly or something because it's his language, mother tongue. And then later on, for a while later, well, once again, when we talk, I told him, sorry, I totally didn't understand what you say. And he said, oh, that's why that when I talk to you, you answered something the well, the weird way that if I'm asking something, but your answer is totally different. It's quite funny. Well, it, it's not a business, so it's okay, but uh, it's happened. Well, so uh, there is another story between the American accent, my friend from California. For me to listen the California accent is not too difficult but when I was talking with my friend I said oh you have accent and he said my friend said no never I'm American and I'm native speaker I have no accent but uh, sorry <laughs> better to know you have accent but, uh, well sometimes people are not used to listen to some other accent even my accent sometimes for some people it could be difficult and uh, during when i'm in hong kong hong kong accent of english was really difficult and there is another funny story there was some the commercial phone ringing and i picked up Hello, and some, somebody is keep talking, some girl, and uh, well, keep talking, but uh, I totally didn't understand, and I thought she is talking in Cantonese, and I said, sorry, I don't understand any Cantonese, so can you talk in English? And one while, I was keep asking, please say English. And she said finally, I'm talking to you in English. <laughs> but I totally didn't understand anything. And I, I said, sorry, I really don't understand what you are talking even in English. So uh, since it was just a commercial phone, I said, sorry, bye-bye. So it's happened. So even, well, the your English level, as a second speaker quite well but sometimes people don't understand so just need to speed down or try to communicate to make it as clear so please keep it up well and uh, as a culture wide well it, it would be the another story so i will tell later on about uh, communication for international internationally and uh, what is the point we better to keep mind
it's just from my experience so thank you for watching see you later bye